hello everyone in this video i'm going to talk about the tabulation in fact i'm going to talk about the data classification you can see two type of components here in this entire uh, uh, on this entire sheet on the left you have got the data you have got age of the respondents gender of the respondent income in thousand per month and then you've got a location and subscription type so this data uh, is uh, of probably subscription the people are taking off some ott platform or perhaps of some news channel so first person who's the age of 72 years the gender was male having 72000 rupees currency whatever it is the income per month was living in the rural location and actually took a monthly subscription of the particular platform so i've got the data i have sufficient amount of data so if uh, i want to see that how big this data set is so i can uh, simply click on the entire column and i can see right here at the bottom that count is 1025 that means there are 1024 entries are there in this particular data set because the first particular uh, row is containing the field names now i want to get i want to classify this data with respect to qualitative or quantitative classification so here if you see on the right that is the kind of output i am trying to get here first is a qualitative information location which is right here in the column d that somebody in rural area suburban area or urban area and how many people are, have subscribed from rural area how many people have subscribed from suburban or urban area and what is their percentage actually same way uh, what are the different age categories age to 27 years 28 to 47 years and so on what is the frequency that means <clears throat> how many <clears throat> extremely sorry people from which age group actually subscribed the particular ott platform what is their percentage uh, of uh, frequency that mean what percentage of the particular age group people subscribe that OT ott platform so i'm trying to get these two kind of distribution the first distribution is of course a qualitative distribution which is that means the data has been distributed on the basis of attribute or qualitative information and if you see this is a quantitative classification because data is classified on the basis of the quantitative information so if i look into my data set age is a quantitative information gender is a qualitative information income is a quantitative information location is a qualitative information and subscription type is also a qualitative distribution so i'll do two quick tables one is a qualitative classification another is the quantitative classification using a pivot table tool so first i'm going to get rid of the tables which i have already created to show you i'll delete that stuff <clears throat> now first requirement is i put my cursor in the data set to get the pivot table if i put the cursor outside the pivot table then generally it doesn't pick up the range of the table so i'm going to put my cursor within the data set then i'm going to go to insert and there is a you know, on the insert ribbon there is a group called tables and on the left there is a tab called pivot table i click on it and you see automatically it is taking the entire data range that means from a1 to 1025 you can cross check it here in this dialog box so entire table range it is taking already and uh, since there is a lot of space on this existing worksheet so i'm going to click on existing worksheet and of course i'll click in the location to give it an address I simply give it an address in the cell G3. You can choose any cell of your choice, probably G2 or anywhere. That means I'm going to put my table here and I click OK. Immediately, this kind of setup you're going to get. On the right, you will get pivot table fields. You can see all the column headings here uh, listed on the top. So, my first column heading was age, which is right there. Then, second was gender, income in thousand, location, and subscription. So, uh, first, let's do a qualitative classification yes i have done in the beginning for uh, uh, i would say location let me do it for gender this time so i pull the gender and gently drag it into the rows this is one way to do it other way i simply che check box in the gender and it immediately comes comes in the rows and i can see right here that uh, two different uh, you know uh, categories are created which are available in male and female then I'm going to drag and drop the genders one more time into the values and one more time because I want to get two columns. One is of frequency and other is of percentage. Since so it, the data clearly shows me there are 208 females and there are 816 males in the data set. So whenever you do a qualitative distribution, it simply takes count on the top. And I'll show you how it is different from other things. 
here again it is taking the count of the gender which i want to see as percentage so i'll simply right click on any of the cells go to summarize values by and i'll simply go to percentage of column totals what it is going to do is it is going to convert the values into the percentage with respect to the column total and i can simply change the labels since it is gender so i can click and type start typing right gender this is frequency so i just click in that start typing frequency and this is the percentage frequency so i'll just type percentage frequency so that's it i got the table which i wanted i want I wanted the table which is giving me frequency and percentage frequency i can simply select let us say if i want to see only the female then it shows me 200 in females and of course the frequency is going to be 100 percent because it has actually taken the shifted the entire total also so that is that is uh, uh, about the qualitative information let us do second uh, pivot table using quantitative information so again i'm going to put my cursor in the data set if you put your cursor outside the data set and insert the pivot table look it doesn't take any range that is why it is important to put your cursor in the table data set sorry you just go to insert click on pivot table and it picks up the entire range again i'm going to do another table on the existing worksheet this time i'll give it a different location click okay and i get the crafting pin on the right so this time i'm going to divide the data on the basis of income again drag and drop into the rows and drag and drop into the values so if you see this is the difference when in the first uh, distribution when i was doing it qual uh, for qualitative so i'll write it here qualitative distribution now here it is a quantitative distribution so it was taking count of the values but here it is taking sum of the income so whenever you do a quantitative distribution it generally starts taking the sum so i'm going to write it one more time quantitative mind the spellings please if it goes wrong distribution so quantitative distribution is this so i can change the sum of values to the count uh, count so it is simply showing that 29000 has been earned by 29 people sorry their total income is actually 29 so it is totaling up the income of all the people who are into this bracket so 30000 so probably there are two people 31000 there are two people something like this is doing let me change it first of all i'll right click and i'll go to summarize values by and instead of sum i'll check count now it is showing me the data uh, in a different mode showing me that there are 29000 taken by one person 30000 is the income of say two people 31000 of two people and so on that's how you get the data but you know it's a quite a long table if you scroll down it's a long table it has taken all the income groups individually and created it doesn't look good so i'm going to group this entire data so i'll right click on any of the rows here and i'll click on group and it simply picks up the group by its own choice click ok and you can see that it has grouped the data still i see that there are so many groups doesn't make much sense to me so i want to further short the table and i will probably increase it from 10 to 20 and click ok and ok fair enough i get this particular output i further want to reduce so i'll change again you know by 25 so if you see this entire set here it is showing you a starting value which is the minimum value in the data set ending at the largest value in the data set and by grouping by so what is the class width so by 25 seems good to me still you know i'll i'll, I'll uh, try to see whether how actually the table looks when i group it with respect to 30 i click ok and this this looks to me a better data right so i've got the count of the income i have got uh, uh, the you know grouped of incomes that means first class is 29000 to 58000 and so on but i want the percentage income also so i'm going to drag and drop income one more time to values group here i just right scroll it and i'll right click same way show values as percentage of column total so it shows me the percentage of people in the different income groups i can simply change the row labels like income here and probably in 1000 uh, inr per month and this is actually the frequency and this is actually the percentage frequency so that's that's what i have done i can uh, you know uh, so this is a quantitative distribution if you see so i've done two type of distributions 
count um, you can you can further you know because this is the income and it is exactly in the currency so you can simply take the format from here if you want but i'm not sure it is going to work here because there are the class intervals which are mentioned so that's that's how uh, you know the tabulation of uh, quant uh, qualitative and quantitative distribution can be done using a simple pivot table tool you can copy this table and take it to your board or powerpoint file as it is and simply you can you know check out any particular income group which you do not want information on and it actually suppresses it and takes the particular group out click back it you get it back so that's it for this part of the video the qualitative and the quantitative distribution tables thank you very much